and welcome back to the Profile Pod, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Double A, your host of the evening, and as always, we have another dandy in store for you. We have the amazing guest here standing by. Before we get to our guest, just a couple things. As you always know, I like to do the housekeeping items first. Uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Profile Pod TV on YouTube. Click on that purple little button there on the bottom right hand corner of your screen and we'll be good leave me a rate review on apple Podcasts. give me some feedback i love the feedback tell me how much you love the show and uh, all that good stuff so or maybe not but hope i hopefully you, you love the show you know i i i, I can take constructive criticism so uh, anyways uh, also don't forget to follow us on instagram and social nostra uh don't forget, we are now on Roku, ladies and gentlemen. Roku player, huge, as part of the Social Nostra Network. If you have a Roku, go ahead and type in Social Nostra and bring it up, load it, and you will now have access to about seven awesome podcasts. So check that out. And that's a huge thing for us on Roku. Really excited about that new platform. So, and, uh, you know, if you're on IGTV as well or YouTube on the audio platforms, thank you so much for joining us. So, uh, and again, if you want to be a guest on this podcast, you got to be doing something extraordinary to inspire the human spirit, as I always say, because we don't invite just anybody on here. You got to be doing something extraordinary, something inspirational, motivational. And if, like I said, if you're if you're uh, chasing polar bears in the Antarctic, uh, I want you in Antarctica. I want to I want to see you on this podcast. So, uh, but tonight, ladies and gentlemen, let's get to our guest of the evening. This uh, young lady hails from the 818 San Fernando Valley. She has her own platform. She is uh, a local, a local's guide to the San Fernando Valley, as she likes to call herself and uh, describe herself. And she is here to talk about her, her platform and how she edifies and uplifts of others. She's a very supportive individual in the community. She loves to build others up and she's here to tell us her story. Without further ado, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dan Rochelle Yamul. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for having me, Double A. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, uh, Dan Rochelle. Thank you. I, the pleasure is all mine. It's an honor having you on this platform. You are so uh, well respected in the community, and you know it's it's just an honor to have you here. What's been going on with you? Oh, uh, nothing much. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have to um, I have to apologize. This is so odd for me because usually it's the other way around. I'm interviewing people and being interviewed, <laughs> I I just <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, Demi Show. It is so Isn't it odd? I know it, it's such a different dynamic being on the other side of things and yes, it's like absolutely. yeah, it's the kind of foreign, right? It's kind of just weird. Yeah, no, I mean, usually if, if I had you on my Zoom or the website, I'd probably say, hey, double A, so tell me about your day. How are you doing? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's definitely, uh, you know, when the tables are turned, it's, it's such a different uh, experience. But nonetheless, it is it's just different, but it's so fun as well. Yep. And, um, you know. Yeah, I was. I, it's so funny because usually it's like, okay, well, I'm preparing interview questions for them, kind of like just give a rough draft. I don't, you know, I don't usually have an outline for everyone, but I kind of just say, hey, these are the questions. Don't sweat it. It's totally about you and your story, you know. Uh, and then uh, in the first, I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna say to Double A today? Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, Dan Rochelle, because sometimes uh, I, I, I kind of mix it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll prepare something and I'll, I'll give it to the guests uh, in advance. And, and But lately, quite honestly, I've uh, just kind of got, gone away from that just so um, just to see how organic you know, yeah. the conversation can be can become. And it's and I'll tell you what, it's such a it's been it's been a great, great uh a method for myself and I really, I really appreciate the conversations I've had. So, but yeah, you know, I, I don't mean to keep, keep you in the dark. I'm not going to ask you anything, you know, <laughs> uh, anything crazy or just, uh, I'm not going to come out of left field or anything, but oh, you know, don't mind. You, <laughs> <laughs> my toes and it's going to be completely fine. So I don't mind ask away. I just, you know, 
Yeah, <laughs> no, no. But yeah, no, uh, Deborah Show, I wanted to go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about your platform, describe it for us and and what you and what you do for it. Sure, for sure. So um, I run a website called Meet the 818 um, and it started in 2019 um, originally because, I don't know, I, I've lived all over the valley. I mean, I've been all over the valley. I've lived in Burbank for so long. Um, <laughs> I, I was there when the AMC was just that one story building. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that, that, yeah. You they, know, um, so it was, it was kind of crazy. So um, let's see, went to Cal State Northridge. So no, the Northridge area. Oh, um, you're a Matador, so am I. I yeah, go Matadors. <laughs> yeah, so am I. Yeah. That, wait, when did you graduate? I'm sorry. Uh, 2002. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, we're I mean, we're uh, I'm the same year. Oh wow. wow! How crazy is that? <laughs> that is what a cool yeah. Serious. I was there on the very. I was a member of the very last football team. Oh yeah, I don't know if you recall. They, they would, anyways, yeah. Oh, very cool. That I, I did not know. Yeah, gosh, yeah. that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And we're doing the same thing. Well, you're you're doing your podcast, but I'm doing this thing, and it's like, oh, that's so crazy. It's 2002. Season graduates, they're just crazy people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they're so wild, right? Uh, but I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just no, no, to... you're fine. You're. I mean, How is it? It's always nice to speak to a fellow season alumni and just catch up on what they're doing. Um, I can't tell you how many people I've interviewed, <laughs> and it's such a small world. Because oh yeah, I went to CSUN. You went to CSUN? Oh my gosh, you went to CSUN? You went to CSUN? <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, it's crazy, but sorry, I got I got sidetracked. No, um, no, no worries. But, um, so went to CSUN. I worked like all over the place, like Silmar, Lake View Terrace, Burbank, Toluca Lake, um, Encino, Woodland Hills. So it start me fade when it started as when people would ask me where to go for sushi or for like what do we do in what area? And I always have like a quick answer, you know. And they're like, so my friend, um, actually my husband. And a couple friends said, why don't you start um, something, you know, start like a website. Because my background, um, I, I freelanced a while back for, before my daughter came. I freelanced for, um, for multiple websites. Um, my Daily Find, um, it's a website that focused on the San Fernando Valley featuring different locals. Um, uh, Karen Young was my editor. Um, I also worked with the Studio City Patch. Um, okay. so I kind of, you know, worked with them, um, but I always thought that there would be a different approach to to featuring um, uh, local places and local people and all that. So, you know, when I thought about it, it kind of evolved into, well, anyone can walk into a sushi restaurant and tell you what tastes good, uh -huh. but if you walk into a sushi restaurant and you get to know the owner, then the place becomes more of a personal thing, mm, you know, like, yes. um, you know, like for example, um, one of my earliest interviews was with King Sushi. Um, uh, King Sushi, oh my gosh, I'm blanking out. No, 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 uh, Kings got sushi. <laughs> okay, okay, gotcha. Then <laughs> remember that little, that little restaurant that had like, breakfast burritos um under three dollars <laughs> oh right right yeah um it's right across yes so, oh my gosh so so yeah so we would you know we'd go there for breakfast for season i mean it's right across so you know, right that's right um but mm -hmm. um that was one of my first um features because um they were about to close down um so her son who happened um chef june who happened to um work in nobu like you know, just high-end sushi restaurant said, hey, oh, yeah. you know, what, what about we add sushi with the burger joint, you know? Mm. So that was like so interesting. So when I, yeah. I was interviewing him and found out all these fascinating stuff about him and just how the whole story was him um, coming to Northridge from, you know, from high-end sushi to help his mom. So mm. like, how awesome is that? <laughs> yes. No doubt, yeah. that's very cool. That's, you know, and, and I think the approach that I, that Meet the 818 takes is, um, 
is the very the, the Mr. Rogers approach, like get to know your neighbor. Um, I think especially nowadays, um, the struggle for most is finding common ground. So meet the 818, or I, what I try to do <laughs> is try to like, instead of like, um, instead of just um, highlighting certain things, it's more of like trying to tell a story, like bring that human aspect into whatever business that is. Um, okay. Or, you know, just the local story. Like for example, if I were to tell your story, seasonal, seasonal alumni football guy, um, uh, Navy vet, which yes. thank you for your service, sir. <laughs> oh, don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I would go that route and just kind of say, so how did you go from point A to point B and then become like a podcaster? Mm. You know, that's yes. fascinating. <laughs> connecting the yeah just connecting the dots right mm -hmm. yeah and and i think when you get to know someone's story it's like you, you get to relate to them better as a person and you you start to build connections and i think it's just it's about connections and it's about networking not just networking but really just connecting with people yes which I think in this day and age, it's like, it's, it's so essential, especially since we went through this pandemic and we were in our little, you know, our little boxes and having to go on lockdown and quarantines and all that. Right. Um, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure, you, you know, like you, I miss connecting, connecting with people. I miss oh. conversation, you know, <laughs> all no that. Doubt. So, um, so that's kind of like in a nutshell, I, you know, what Meet the 818, does is just connections and telling stories and getting to know your neighbor and just in the San Fernando Valley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's great, Dan Rochelle. And, and, and building community, like you said, it, it's such a, a, you know, a beautiful thing. You know, con I, you couldn't have said it, I couldn't have said it any better because that's what I love to do. That's, that's my platform is, is again, and you, we were talking earlier, right? How, you know, we, we're here to uplift others and support yeah, others and and that's any way I can do that man that that is a uh, that's the bottom line that's the essence of this podcast you know to to help others put others on a pedestal shine put shine the light on them highlight them what they're doing and you know hopefully you know it's my own little uh you know way of of, of helping and and at the same time you know we're again like you said we're connecting we're building relationships. We're entertaining the the audience. Hopefully, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. We're building a you know I'm building my podcast. It's a win 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 all the way around. You know, it's, it really is a beautiful thing. Absolutely, it's and it's thing. it's funny. I actually came across this um just today. I came across a quote, and I'm gonna probably you know muck, muck it up, but the ba mm. the basic gist is um we if we were trying to outshine each other or, um, you know, pretty much outshine each other, then it would be such a lonely thing if there was just one star in the sky. Yeah, oh. I mucked it up, but <laughs> <laughs> I mucked it up. But the, the, I get the, it. the quote was that we, you know, the uplifting each other and, and you know, cheering each other on and just like, you know, it, I mean, you know, small businesses and all that and just people trying to make it and make their dreams happen you know it's, it's, just, it's, it's just about showing them that hey people made it so can you yeah <laughs> you know right. and just supporting them and just saying you know what if you really want to go after your dream go for it you know just keep on going <laughs> oh, oh exactly exactly you know it's a uh... You know, and then the 818, man, the, the, the San Fernando Valley is such a unique, unique place. Unique. Oh, yeah, area, absolutely. Area, you know, and I was talking, I was talking to uh, a big shout out to Hector, right? At, at yes, Valley Hector. Valley <laughs> Views, you mm -hmm. know, and, and I, know, I know you guys want, you're going to collaborate with him soon. And, but he, you know, we were talking about how, you know, the, the, the 818 is just a hotbed for all kinds of different uh, talent, you know, everything from, are, you know, artists and, and, and muralists and, uh, you know, the, the politics and every aspect of life, you know, every industry, you know, obviously we have entertainment, we have uh, the movie industry, and, uh, you know, small business industry, all kinds of stuff, you know, going on in the Valley. And, and it's really, really a cool, unique place to, to profile, right? 
Oh yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, and it's vast. It's like, there's no one city that's the same. You know, you can, yeah. you can turn a corner on Reseda and it's a completely different vibe. <laughs> you know? so, uh... <laughs> yeah, you guess it's suburban here. And then the next block over, you got, you know, commercial buildings uh, plenty, exactly. you know? Exactly. Or if you go down Ventura, it's like all of a sudden it's like restaurants, restaurants. And then mm-hmm. there's that big white building. It's like, Mm, and then like Taft and all that it was like it just kind of changed the it's just it kind of changes like the the what's it called the landscape the thank you <laughs> yes that's the that word you look for <laughs> yes exactly the word this is why I interview <laughs> <laughs> yeah right I feel you I feel you right oh my gosh yeah you, and you've done a lot of some collaborations already and uh, in the eight week night with other individuals, uh, talk a little bit about those some of those collaborations, uh, Dan Rochelle. Sure, sure. So, um, the most recent, actually, no, um, I collaborated with. I'm trying to think of the most recent one, but for Encino um, two fifty two day, their their birthday, um, okay. I collaborated with writings on the walls. Um, and uh, Ari was the photographer. So I wrote the article, interviewed, you know, um, Phil, who was the founder of Writing on the Walls. And then Ari was the one who took the, the amazing pictures <laughs> of everything. So that was like okay. a good conversation. So it's like, okay, you take better pictures than I do. I will write your article. Um, mm. What else? And then. Um, eight, eight, what about uh, 818 Day? Yes. Which you, you hosted? I did. Well, Sorry, I'm blanking out. It's <laughs> um, I so I did. Um, we did an eight one eight day with um, Cafe Aficionado, um, yes. Red and Abby Kua, um, and I actually coordinate that coordinated that with Oscar from my Valley Pass. <laughs> I told him, "Hey, dude, oh. um, we're gonna be doing eight one eight day in Northridge," um, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, do your thing." Like, okay, cool. So what we did for the eight one eight day, we had couple of local performances come in. Um, Nyla, who just moved to the 818, um, who actually performed at, um, at Encino, um, the Encino birthday thing. Um, Take the Stage Arts, which is a performing arts, um, uh, performing arts program out in West Hills. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, dude, um, it's led by Tony Rose Park, um, sorry, Tony Rose Lopez, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, also a CSUN alumni. Um, but she does the summer camp and the kids put on productions um, and all that. So, you know, the kids kind of perform during that time too. Um, and then Alexis Lopez from California Music Box um, came in too. Um, and Very she, cool. Yeah, no, awesome, awesome, you know, phenomenal woman. She she runs a music school for, for kids and it's mm. just, music is just in her blood. And you know when people really love what they do and they just kind of glow? Yeah. She glows. <laughs> her and her husband just have this like light of like, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I mean, like, yeah, understand. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, we had like a bunch of vendors on the streets um, or on the sidewalk, um, and everyone just kind of showed up and just you know enjoyed the food, and enjoyed the vendors, enjoyed being at the cafe, and it was a good time. <laughs> so that's that was, awesome. Yeah, because um, a little bit about Cafe Aficionado. Um, Reggie and Abby actually um, started pop-ups in May um, to kind of help, um, you know, friends and other businesses that were um, really affected um, by by the pandemic. Um, for example, if I don't know, but Ninos in in Northridge, I don't know if you've ever been. Um, Ninos. Ninos. Is, Ninos. Yes, it's the Ube Pancakes place. They shut oh. down. Yeah, so they shut down. Um, so Abby was like, Hey, why don't you just do a pop-up and just, you know, have people come over, pick up your food, all that. So Mm -hmm. that was such a crazy, like just the feedback was crazy. Um, orders just kept on pouring in and all that. So it's just that those two, I think are just the type of people that are about community. Like they just, they just do this, this. You know, they love having people around, A. <laughs> B, um, <laughs> they just, well, no, actually, no, I explain that. They actually, they like helping people and they they are about uplifting the community. So teaming up with them was like, 
was just amazing. And just seeing the community come together, it's just, wow, I can't even, <laughs> there are no words. Wow is the only word I have. <laughs> no, it's a beautiful thing for sure. Yeah, and you you know, Dan Rochelle, I was out and um, I've been attend I've attended a few of the um, pop ups. Uh, in fact, I was there a Saturday at the eight one eight pop up oh, yes. Hood Foodie. Yes, yes, yes. Were you there by any chance at, at any point? I wasn't. I was there for the first takeover, um, and I met. Oh. I finally met Marie because I was like, Marie, I need to feature you. You know that she's like, no, I'm so shy. I was like, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> I, you know, I, she still owes me a feature, by the way. If Marie, if you're listening, feature. <laughs> right, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, and I interviewed her in Hood Foodie uh, on Saturday, but but yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. It, yeah no, well, I, but point, point being though, you know, Dan Rochelle, it's, it's it's such a beautiful thing to be out in the community, mm -hmm. you know, to actually get out and touch the community and, and meet yes. the people face to face, you know, as opposed to Instagram, right, which is cool too, don't get me wrong, but it, you know, it's it's a it's so beautiful to be out in the community, you know, to be out there, you exactly. know, and on the front lines mm -hmm. and really get to meet and connect, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I mean, just, it's different. I mean, the square, I mean, you know, Instagram, you just, you kind of just scroll, it gets exhausting sometimes. I mean, it's cool <laughs> when you see cool stuff, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so amazing, they're doing this. Um, but there's just the value of just face to face conversation, man, and just um, good old fashioned conversation. Exactly, and just connecting with people, and just you know seeing them in their element. You know, like here's what I'm doing, and da, 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 and just supporting them, just being out to support. It's like it's awesome. <laughs> Again, yeah. I have no words. <laughs> right, right. You know, and, and it's cool. It's cool to be. i you know, I've. I've uh, had uh, the hood foodie on here before i've had uh, hector you know and i was on his platform yeah. um so the uh, point being that the 818 it seems like it's a very tight-knit community where every you know people don't mind supporting oh. each other and, and up, oh. uh, uplifting each other and, and really lending a hand and and it's 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 a great thing to see i know uh, valley fest just uh were you there at valley fest was that I what it's was called at valley fest too <laughs> nestor has been on here yeah yes, you know. nestor nestor yeah i'm um, what's it called? I was there. I was just taking pictures. It was a lot of people, and yeah, it was a lot of people. <laughs> I heard. I heard. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, they, like, you know, they were on. They were featured on Channel Seven, you know, ABC News, and, and they were, uh, oh, they were. it was. It, yeah, it was crazy, and it's funny because like a lot of the vendors are people I knew, so I was like, "Hey guys," and it was like, "Oh, da, da. so it was like, if you stop at each booth." Mm -hmm. it's yeah. like uh, it takes about 15 minutes to move on to the next one <laughs> yeah i <laughs> know yeah, before you yeah. know it it's it's almost time to go right before exactly you know before it. you know it, it's like um i think it's 6 30 i have another event to cover bye guys <laughs> but right. yeah it's yeah and i just i can't i can't say anymore how just you know how great it is to see the community just coming together and just having all that support i mean the valley is huge for everyone. You know what I mean? And it really and, is. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> and you can cover the whole valley by yourself. So it's it's nice to have these connections and these this, you know, the collaborations because you you promote, you know, if you promote one person in a different platform and you promote it in another platform, then it's just the word gets out. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I feel like that's doing that just helps, you know, it just it helps them, you know, get out there and do their thing. So, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you no doubt, no doubt. And Dan Rochelle, there's something I really want to ask you about. And then that's sure. uh the, you're you're launching something new, right? I am, yes, I am. So tell us a little bit about this because I I I really, because I love this place, one of my favorite places in the world. Probably the, my most, my, my favorite place in the world, not one. Oh. The most favorite place in the world. Trust me. me, if we could move there. I mean, I love the San Fernando Valley, but man. And it's only off by one digit, right? Yes, it's just one digit and you're done. So, um, Talk about that one. Was it yesterday? Monday was yesterday, right? Yes. So, yesterday, um, we launched our sister account, Meet the 808. <laughs> mm. Meet <laughs> so the that's, 808. Meet the 808. And it's, 
I don't know. I get chills. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Um, How exciting is that? Talk, talk, tell us all about it. I really, I'm, I'm just because I love Hawaii. I, for those of you, if you don't know who the, the 808 is, it's an area code for beautiful islands of Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> so I, um, sorry, <coughs> excuse me. I actually, um, I love Hawaii. Um, we try to go there every year. Um, we have family there. We have friends. So we kind of try to visit. Um, so my friend who recently moved there um, is a photographer. Um, his name is Jeffrey Kay. Um, amazing photographer. He captures landscapes and people. And it's just, just the artistry in his photos are just you know, amazing, phenomenal. <laughs> uh, whatever adjective you want to describe, those are his photos. <laughs> okay. Um, so we were talking, <laughs> we were like going back and forth, like, hey, so we, he was joking around when when are we launching Meet the 808? I was like, nah, dude, man, I'm still in the 8.8. We can't, you know. <laughs> I was like, I can't, you know, I can't move yet. Or I can't, you know, we're, we're here. We put our roots here. Um, mm -hmm. So he... He said um, a couple of weeks ago, he goes, so are we starting that count yet? I was like, what do you mean? Are you serious? So I called him and was like, and there's a three hour, you know, the, the time, three hour time difference. So I was like, Jeff, are you really wanting to run this? And he goes, yeah, I'm asking you if you want to do a meet the 808. And I'm like, wow. okay. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. So I was like, that's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, let's do it. So he he just um he had he pitched this idea of doing local stories um and really just featuring locals um and not just the food scene not just the you know not just the beaches or not uh -huh. just the, the beauty of hawaii but <laughs> the people <laughs> yes i knew it i knew you're gonna say the the most important part right Yes, like the people, the lifestyle, and he he ran a he ran a couple of interview ideas. I can't say anything yet. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> feel free, Dan Rochelle. Don't, don't mind me. Go, go ahead. Tell us all about. It. I know. You know, right? <laughs> Give us some exclusives. No. <laughs> well, he wanted to um, he wanted to feature um, a couple of local people, and he's trying to you know get this these conversations going and all that. And I told him like you know. You go, you go to Oahu. I mean, I've been to Aloha Stadium and I've had some pretty good conversations <laughs> out there, you know. Yes. Um, we've had talks about how um, unlimited wants and limited resources, you know, all that. Uh, and how Hawaii, Hawaii's mentality is um, sustainability, you know, versus we've had that conversation. We've got conversations about uh, ukulele makers, you know <laughs> oh my gosh right so it's like the music and it's just like there's so much to just you know um but the trick to meet the 808 unfortunately it's like i and we were talking about it, it's like you can't really um give the local spaces out to the public <laughs> mm. <laughs> or else <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. so you know i mean i i don't say that in a bad way but um it's like, for example, you have a favorite breakfast place and you keep that to yourself because that's just a very local, you know, a local breakfast place. And then it starts getting big and starts to get packed with visitors. Mm, <laughs> it's not yeah. a local place anymore, you know, so. And, um, and they want to, they, 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 they want to keep it kind of yeah. low key. I know that, that's exactly. the aim. Exactly. So it's a, it's a different vibe. So someone who's not in, on the island, um, I feel can't run it as well as someone who actually lives there, you know? Oh, yeah. So, you know, with, with um, my friend, I mean, he just moved there. So he has like the, you know, fresh eyes and learning things and going on food adventures and all that. So that's pretty interesting. So here we are. Wow. Meet the late. <laughs> that's a, that is amazing. Yeah. You, you're, you're talking about, you know, like you say, ukulele makers. There's mm -hmm. and there's a lot. There's a big time music scene out there. You know. Oh yeah. Um, absolutely. You know, I've approached a few, uh, just a, just a small handful of, of musicians out there, and uh, you know, so I, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's it's just untapped. I mean, really, there's there's a. I mean, yeah, 
oh my gosh, it's, the <laughs> possibilities are endless, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I can't wait. And then he was like, can you edit this? Because <laughs> I was like, so you want me to be your writer? <laughs> <laughs> your editor? For yes. So, um, so yeah, so it's going to be, um, it's his, but it's sort of, it's, it's a sister account. So congratulations on that. Thank you. I, I'm excited. I am so excited. I just, you know, I, again, I just, I, I, I know Jeff, he's going to do a fantastic job and I can't wait to just share everything and just kind of like, Hey guys, check this out. Or, you know, just, I, I just, you know, but yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, when did you launch it? Did uh, yesterday. So. Oh my God. Right. <laughs> Very, I, I'm going to follow you. I'll get on there and give you a follow us ace immediately, you know, Please. as soon as we are after the, after the podcast, <laughs> after we wrap up here. Exactly. Yeah. Again, he, um, yeah, he did the, um, we, you know, we, he was running logos and then we were just, you know, hammering details and then it happened yesterday. So it's like, mm. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. That's uh, you know, and you could just, I could just imagine you're, you know, when you get out there, when you do get out there, what, how, you know, how, how much of, you know, I mean, obviously you're out, you go to enjoy yourself and you have your family, you have friends out there, but now you have the meet the 808, right? And now you're going to have this, you know, kind of a, a, a diff, another purpose, yep. which you're passionate about to, to get out there and, and, and really do some, do some interviews or, or whatever the case may be. Oh yeah. And, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. That's a beautiful I thing. Gosh, that is a great idea, though. You know, when you when you told me about that, uh, I, I said, "Oh wow, meet the 808." I can't hear. I can't wait to hear about that. You know? Yeah, no, I just yeah, it just happened yesterday. So it's like, how do I talk about it? I was like, it launched yesterday. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, great guys. <laughs> right, right. It's still fresh. Yeah. It's, yeah, no, it's it gosh. is. I mean, if you. Um, I, I, I guess I could share his account. Like if you follow him, it's um, at Jeff K. Photography. Um, okay. His handle. The pictures are just fantabulous. <laughs> I gotta check it out. I will check that yeah. out. Jeff K. At well, I'm sorry, Jeff K. Photography. Uh, Jeff, oh, sorry. Hold on. Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey K. No. Uh, right Jeff. Then C A Y. Dot photography. Okay, awesome. I can send you the link. No worries. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. Uh, <laughs> I'll send you the link. No big deal. But that's, that's yeah. Um, yeah, I just I I can't wait to see like the island vibe and everything. It's gonna make me want to go there now. <laughs> yeah, now you're gonna yeah. Shoot. You know, you know. Now you're gonna have to go twice, two, three, four times a year or something. You know. Maybe. Oh <laughs> that's gonna suck. <laughs> oh, for work oh my gosh terrible guys terrible oh gosh right <laughs> you mean i oh. have to go interview a surfer oi how gosh. terrible is that <laughs> i know right on, on, on the shores of waikiki gosh <laughs> that's terrible you mean i have to do a follow-up on bj penn and how how you know how he's doing uh. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness i mean wait, what's your favorite island um do you have I, a favorite i mean each one has its own flavor but but you know do you have a preference it's hard to say it's just you know as you said different flavors so it's kind of just it's difficult to choose one but um if we were i would say oahu because yeah. um that's the first island i was you know i've been in so yeah yeah, yeah you know <laughs> I, last time I was there, Dan Rochelle was 2012. Oh wow! Uh, yes, oh, wow. <laughs> yes, I know it's too, been too long, and and you know I went by myself. Believe it or not, I went by myself. I was supposed to go with my son. He was uh, at the time he was I think 10 years old. It, it didn't oh, pan wow. out, and but I, I still went forward. And mm -hmm. let me tell you, I, I was gosh, it was just an amazing experience, you know. And I, I was everywhere, you know. I was uh, I was on. Uh, University of Hawaii's campus to oh, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, North Shore yeah. and Waimanalo and or oh, yes. 
just <laughs> oh it was it was just phenomenal you know phenomenal you're making and, uh, it look like a spam <laughs> right now a spam <laughs> like leonard's donuts or leonard's malasadas <laughs> oh my gosh yeah what about zippies and the, the other yes things? rainbow drive-in oh gosh oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know yeah but no i got i definitely got it you know i gotta get out there asap i mean you know but but that's gonna be exciting i, I can't wait to see what what you come uh you know what comes about and what what yes. your ideas are and everything that you guys are going to do that with that and uh, would, would you say the concept would be a little bit different than 818 or is it going to be similar or i mean just it's just totally different um i think it would be a different vibe um only because again hawaii is this it, it has its own vibe um i think the stories will be a little bit more different mm -hmm. um but the the approach will still be about locals you know and just yeah. lifting and all that but I think it's gonna be it's gonna be insane. It's just yes. because the you know, I mean Hawaii, San Fernando Valley. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Ocean, um. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. No, good for you. That's exciting. And and uh, like I said, I can't wait to see what what what's in store. And and, and tell us uh, shifting back to the valley. Sure, sure, sure. There well, we thank go. you for mentioning that. I appreciate that. See the oh. smile on like the island, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know, right? I mean, geez, what an enjoy uh, enjoyment it is to talk about Hawaii, right? It's mm -hmm. always, you know, but let, oh. let's come back to the mainland for oh, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let's, let's go back to the mainland. Yes. <laughs> Take right? us back to the mainland, double A. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Talk about, uh, can, what can you tell us about your upcoming collaboration with uh, Valley Views and, and, and Hector? In, in sure, Hawaii. sure. So, um, Hector and I had this idea because we run into each other during events all the time. <laughs> I just saw him on Saturday, yeah, at the no. event. Yes, yes. Um, uh, I think I actually met him the first time at the first takeover. So, wow, I forgot when, when that was. Was that May, June, July? Anyway, July. Was yes. July, yeah. So after that, we keep on running into each other, like the art um, create, uh, create, art um event we ran into each other then outdoor san fernando valley i mean san fernando outdoor um mall the last saturday of the month oh. events um so yeah we run into each other then so we were like you know what what if we collaborated and co-hosted a um a series so we're like hmm that sounds so interesting because you know like because his, his show is just one, per, you know, it's both of us work with just one-on-one, -on -one, you know, so um, having two ho or a host and a co-host and then interviewing people would bring a whole different dynamic. Oh, so, I see. You know, so we said, you know what, what, what are we going to name it? So we, we called it the Spotlight Series. Mm. So, <laughs> love it, love it. Right? So it was just like, oh man, that's awesome. So every... Um, I think once a month um, for the next three months, we have a couple of guests lined up, um, you know, community movie movers and shakers. Um, and just, just to talk about the Valley, just to talk about what they're doing and go from there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. Is this going to be in person or on, on a zoom or, you know, remotely? Um, no, or... it's, it's going to be Hector's format. So I'm going to be at the studios or oh. his um and then we'll go from there <laughs> oh phenomenal you know and he has they have a great setup over there you know I, you know so, when i yeah when i've been there i was on the the show and and it's oh yeah it's phenomenal he's he, they're really doing some really big things over there they, with, they with are values yeah. absolutely and it just and i it's funny because hector i did a feature on him like in 2000 when they start i think the first year the first year anniversary i did like a quick feature on them um he reached he said hey can you just you know um i do this and i'm like perfect i can feature you that's amazing you know you do valley views and i kind of just you know i did my research i listened to um a couple of his shows and like this guy's doing amazing stuff and like to be on the radio of all things that's yeah, i know exactly <laughs> exactly you know and it's but you know but he it's 
it's it works and the way well he he does what we do <laughs> but yeah. on a different platform <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh yeah and he likes to get out to you know events and do those spot mm -hmm. interviews and oh yeah you know, no. which, which i i love doing those too you know i i, I go to these events and the pop-ups and then and, you know interview business owners and put them on again put them on us on the on the on the spotlight or highlight them and let you know, give three four minutes and then I put it on Instagram, I tag them, and it's and it's a beautiful thing, you know. Uh, I, I, as a matter of fact, real quick, uh, Dan Rochelle, I, I interviewed this um, Amy, Amy Sweet Delicias is her, the name of her business. Seventeen year old entrepreneur, and she's she's a senior in high school. Uh, you can go on my page, check out the interview. She got like six hundred views on that. It was just a beautiful thing for her, you know, for her and her to get exposure and promotion. And it's just a really really talented young lady, and it's just. You know, as an example, you know, and anyways, but, but yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's yes, the essence of it, right? No, and it's, I love it. I love it when um, the younger generation, like, does it. Like, do the, like, when they go out there and, hey, I have an idea. Let's do this. Like, to be that young and have an idea like that. It's like, how crazy. <laughs> I know. I feel like, yeah, you know, I think back to when I was 17. I was, gosh, what was I, what was I doing back to <laughs> you know but like, yeah that's what we were doing <laughs> again we were at csun that's what we were doing oh yeah yeah <laughs> oh but but yeah you know it's it, it's great so I, I really love that idea you're talking you're telling me about the spotlight series and uh again you know i can't wait to to see what that comes up you know what that's gonna look like and oh no before well, you bring on exactly we're we're gonna we're gonna start um, i think he's doing a promo or He's going to start doing a promo probably this week or next week. Yeah. I actually texted him. I was like, hey, Hector, can I tell double A about? <laughs> <laughs> Is it hush hush or can I just tell him? <laughs> yeah. I, I noticed, that, uh, that Michelle, you're giving me some, some, some good nuggets here. Yes. I'm giving you the inside scoop, man. That's, that's, that's right. all. That's what it's about. Inside scoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, you just give, you give, you know, give the people a little taste, right, of, of what's to come, and uh, uh, but not too much, just a little much. bit, like, right? Hey, hook you in, yes, yes, come closer. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we'll watch in October. <laughs> okay. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, stay tuned for October. No, I can't wait to see that. You know, and what 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 else uh, do you have? Um, I mean, how how big do you want to take Meet the Eight One Eight? You know. <laughs> Yeah, Rochelle, tell us a little bit about some of your goals and, and your some of your grand visions for this platform. That, my friend, is the million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you that I've, um, because, you know, Meet the 818 is my passion project. Um, I also hold down a full time job. Um, I'm also a mom and a wife. <laughs> and, you know, the many I, hats that you put on. Yes. So it's a balancing act. Um, Really but is. I would just, well, you understand. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm right there. Right, right. I get, this is my podcast hat right now. Exactly. I'm wearing that one. I thought about wearing a hat today, but it's like, it's too hot. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's a lot of work, I tell you. you know? Yeah, no, no, it is. It is. Um, you know, if, uh, where do I want to take me the 818? If I really... I'm being honest. Um, I would like to see it grow bigger. Um, have some, you know, some writers, you know, share their articles or be that vehicle that launches, you know, other aspiring writers who want to do their thing, you know, um, just help out in that way. Because, you know, with more writers, you get to cover more stories. <laughs> so it's a two way street. It's not just, you know, um, but I, you know, I would love to see it grow. I would love to um, just have it as not necessarily as, as a media outlet, but like the website that everyone sort of goes to if um, they need to know a story or they're like researching someone like, hey, uh, how about... Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone right now. Sorry. <laughs> like, oh, um, what about that interview on Chef Valerie? What she, what is she up to? You know, uh, um, what about um, you know that new series, Tresse? 
um, what does the art director have to say about that? You know, so kind of just like referring back to the website yes. as mm -hmm. a, a guide, a locals guide. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, right. But um, that's pretty much it. Just, yeah. I know it doesn't seem much, but <laughs> just growing, growing Meet, Meet the 818 so it, we're able to tell more stories and make more connections and make it a vehicle for people to just shine and be highlighted and featured. And that's, you know, pretty much the goal. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're definitely doing that. <laughs> oh, damn, Michelle, your your you know your platform is such has such a positive vibe, and you're such a, a positive person. You know, just just you know oozing with optimism, and, and just just a you're just a joy to talk to. And um, <laughs> I love the positive vibe. Seriously, I, I you know I just really appreciate that. And it's and I, I want to be around people like you yourself. <laughs> you know, you know, damn, Michelle, I, I don't want to be around people that are negative. I don't want to be people that, you know. Uh, yeah, I, you give me inspiration, you motivate me. And, uh, you know, that's, that's who I want to, again, you know, that, that's who I want to surround myself with. I want to be connected to uh -huh. those individuals, you know, and so, yeah, no, I want, I want yeah, thank you for, for being said who you are, you know, because again, <laughs> we, we have similar platforms, right? We do exactly. similar things. Oh, yeah. And, to, you know, watching you is for sure inspirational. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, no, no. I was just going to say, like, your platform is just, you do the same thing, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's the energy. Like you have this energy and you just yeah. bring out the stories and people and it's just like, ah, it's oh. so, it's fun to listen to. Sorry. If I'm, if I'm sort of like multitasking, I just kind of listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Good. No, that's great. Yeah, But I... even, even the visual, it's just like, you know, that's, it's, it's pretty awesome what you do. And I, you know, had I known that you were doing this before you reached out, <laughs> uh -huh. I would have said, double A, you're Zooming with me. <laughs> oh. hey, let me know when you want me. I'll, 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 oh, okay. I hear you. I hear you. Uh, what are you doing in two weeks? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, let me know. I, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'll, as long as you'll, yeah, if it's after, you know, 8 p.m., oh, yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I, you know, because, you know, I got kids and yeah, yeah. all kinds of. I told yeah. you about my house situation earlier. And, yes. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> and my my heart really goes out to you because I've been in that situation. Oh. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Thank. Thank you for for, for saying that. And yeah. uh, you know, again, I, for those of you if you're wondering, I, I had a, a a leak in my house and in my ceiling from the bathtub down into my kitchen. So now they have to rip out drywall and all that fun stuff and restoration and remediation and, uh, you know, checking for mold and it's anyways. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least, right? And, but as uh, I was telling you earlier, it's, it's, it's um, unforeseen renovations. So you yes. get your new floors, your new walls. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's so my, my wife's excited. She's going to get her new floor. And... Oh, there you go. Then you're, you're fine. Happy, what was it? Happy wife, happy life. So you got it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Rochelle, you know, before we go, um, where could the good people follow you? Where can they, you know, see your, uh, your work and stuff like that? Tell us a little bit about that. Plug your Instagram and all that good stuff. Absolutely. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, the website is meettheeightmoneight.com. So the website houses all the articles, all the interviews, um, all the weekend events, um, and all the good stuff. Uh, so meettheeightmoneight.com. Um, I'm also on Instagram at meettheeightmoneight, um, Facebook at meettheeightmoneight, <laughs> and Twitter, <laughs> same handle at meettheeightmoneight. <laughs> across the board I was like that's so redundant I was like I should I could have just said Instagram Twitter Facebook at me the there you go ah, it's all good it's all good and then soon to be you know meet the 808 right yes. with, with all of those platforms maybe I don't know I'm thinking we will well right now if um follow at meet the 808 on Instagram there you go <laughs> it is you know as I as we were talking about earlier it just launched yesterday so more on that later. Yes. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> well, well, 
Dan Rochelle, you were gonna, if you're busy now, gosh, you got a, a lot of stuff coming up. Oh, uh, you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did forget to mention, I'm so sorry. I'm backtracking and I apologize. Um, please do, please do. Uh, I have two more collaborations. Um, October 16th with Cafe Aficionado, we will be doing a fall festival for the community. Um, so stay tuned on details. Um, also, December 5th, um, doing sort of a holiday thing for the community, um, family friendly, kid friendly and all that, still with Cafe Aficionado. <laughs> oh. So I completely forgot, it was, oh my gosh, let me just say. So, um, so yeah, so stay tuned for those two events too. Awesome, there it is, <laughs> there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Rochelle Yamu, I wanna thank you so much, Dan Rochelle, for taking the time, for being here and really, uplifting all of us with your energy and your your, your joy and your, your just your, your positivity. And th so thank you so much. Any shout outs before we go for yourself? And, and um, you shout no, there's, I don't know, like shout out to my family for letting me do this <laughs> to the hubby and the daughter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, that's important, right? Because. No, you know, absolutely. Could, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I am blanking out. See, that's the problem with shout outs. <laughs> I know, right on the spot. One person, and then you forget one person, and it's like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot you. <laughs> <laughs> so just shout out to my family and friends and um, to all the people that support me, Fake 18. I appreciate your support. Um, DM me if you want to be featured. <laughs> um, but otherwise, thank you. Thank you for the follow, and just thank you for the support. And thank you for letting me be here, Double A. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Pleasure's all mine. And don't mention it. And, you know, thank you. Thank you once again. So, yeah, let me know. We'll maybe I'll get on your platform. As to just let me know. Yeah. Oh, no. I'd love. That would be an honor. Are you kidding me? So Absolutely. I'm glad. I'm glad I can. Um, I can be the one who says, oh, tell me your story, sir. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. There's plenty to talk about. Yes. Well, Thanks again, Dan Rochelle. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have Dan Rochelle Yomul. Meet the 818. Check out her platform. Go on Instagram. Go on her social media and give her a follow. You will not be disappointed. She's doing a lot of big things. As you just heard, uh, Meet the 808, soon to be. Collaborations. She's out in the community. She is, uh, she's got a full plate. So <laughs> check her out. And once again, I want to thank everybody for being here with Double A and Dan Rochelle. I am your host as always. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Roku. Don't forget to check us out on IGTV. Leave me a rate and review. Give me some feedback. And if you want to be featured on this podcast and you're doing something extraordinary as uh, our friend here, Dan Rochelle, then hit me up and uh, direct, direct message me on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So for Dan Rochelle, Yamu, I am Double A reminding you to always take it. Easy. Thanks again, Darren.